The 17th century portrait of an austere looking Spanish writer had hung in Penryn Castle for nearly 150 years, unvisited by art experts and assumed by the National Trust, which owns the castle, to be of no great value. That was until a recent visit by Drive Benito Navarrete Prieto, a distinguished art scholar who made the journey from Seville to North Wales on a hunch that a painting assumed to be a copy might just be the real thing. Now Prieto has established that the artwork was indeed a lost masterpiece by Bartolo Esteban Murillo, one of the great Spanish painters. Last week the art world marveled as Leonardo da Vinci's 500. Year old depiction of Christ sold at auction for a record £341 million. The restored Salvator Mundi had long been considered a fake but was reclassified as authentic. The discovery of a Murillo in Penryn Castle, near Bangor in North Wales, is not quite on the same scale. But in the world of European art, it is a major event, there are barely a dozen known portraits by the artist, and those few that do exist are worth millions. It is an absolute masterpiece, Preto said. Magnetic transported from Penryn, the portrait is the centerpiece of a major exhibition on the artist at the Frick Collection in New York, before transferring to the National Gallery in London in February. One of the U.S. exhibition's curators, Xavier F. Salomon, said the discovery was hugely exciting, and that he regretted relying on previous judgments by other art historians. Most scholars have written that there are two versions of the portrait, both copies after a lost original. One copy was in Seville, which I have seen and is clearly a copy, he said. Painted around 1751, the copy is thought to have been commissioned by the Sitter family when the original Murillo was sold. Now attributed to the 18th century Sevilla painter Domingo Martinez, it hangs in Seville Town Hall. When it came to the Welsh example, Salomon said the literature featured terrible old black and white photos. He requested a color image for his exhibition catalogue and featured it as a copy, even though he recalled his first impression was that this looks really good. I thought people have always said it's a copy, it's got to be a copy. Which is, of course, a mistake art historians should never make. Go with your gut feeling and you should follow up. I didn't. Benito went to Wales and realised how great the painting was and that everyone had been wrong in calling it a copy. The mistake, myself included, is just that no one bothered to go there, and everyone kept repeating that it was a copy. It was hidden in plain sight. It's not coming out of a location that's unknown. The house was open to the public. The painting was among old masters collected in the mid- to late minus 19th century by Baron Penryn for his neo-Gothic pile. Today, the castle's collection includes paintings, furniture and books. The Muarillo was attributed to the artist when it was acquired in the 1870s, but by 1901 it had been downgraded. Describing it as exceptional, Salomon said, it's difficult to add a painting to an exhibition that's already opened but I literally found out about this painting on the Friday and the exhibition was opening on the Monday. There was an insane weekend, I started calling everyone in Wales and Spain to find out more.